In today's episode, you'll see a crazed woman who thinks her husband is cheating on her with a woman who actually passed away. She takes no medication. And when she don't take it, she becomes that. Then, an extremely possessive girlfriend who simply won't stop controlling her boyfriend. Why do they want to separate us? They won't even let me out to you. You have to come to me. Austin, come and save me, Austin! A woman who smashed her partner's car and then attacked him because he didn't want to sleep with her that night. He made me a black eye and you're gonna f***ing arrest me. First, you'll meet Tamara, an extremely jealous and dangerous wife who constantly terrorizes her husband for no reason. One day, their conflict escalated so much that he had to lock himself in a room behind a door he had reinforced because of his wife, and from there, he communicated with the police. Upon arrival, the officers immediately realized the situation was serious. Yeah. Do they have a back door or anything at the wall? He's advising all the doors by the wall. Yep. Let me get it. Let's try. Let's have a little quick test. That looks like this. Oh my god! Get out of here now! Your hands, no, right I'm now. Get down here. No, I'm not coming down here. This is my house. I haven't done nothing wrong, and I don't have to get your hands off me. I haven't done nothing wrong. No, I don't, and I've not done it. Get your off me. This is my house, and I haven't done anything. No, I haven't done nothing wrong. Coming in, breaking my door down because I'm having a conversation with my husband. So I have nothing wrong. So you guys can't just take me to jail for arguing. There is not a problem. The problem is, is he does not know how to admit that he's wrong. He doesn't know how to admit that he cheated on me for so long. So what's going on? Well, you guys can see in reports that this has happened multiple times. Yeah. She, uh, she takes no medication. And when she don't take it, she becomes that. Me and her had a thing with her friend 20 years ago. That friend's dead. That relationship ended, mm -hmm. it's all, I mean, whatever. Obviously, since she's passed away. <laughs> but she gets triggered and thinks of faults and then goes nuts over it. I didn't do nothing wrong. You guys are crazy. I swear to God, I will get a fuck and see Because I haven't done this in my house. And nothing you guys did justifies breaking my house. How the fuck are you guys going to come arrest me when I've not done anything wrong? She needs... I, I, my head, because this has been going on for two years now, institutionalized. She needs to be put somewhere and get her medicines right, or maybe even talk to her to figure out what really. I mean, there's something deeper inside her. has got to be. She wouldn't like this forever. Like, how the hell's two years out of 20 years, she just loses her Am I going to jail? I don't know what's going on yet. I just got here. I swear to God, I've not done anything wrong. I had beat on the door. Yes, I did. Because I wanted him to answer me. He can sit in there, and he can call the cops, and tell them I'm going crazy, but he won't answer me. I mean, it's seven or eight medicines, and they changed you last year, or two years ago, they changed her to lithium. That really, she went nuts as stuff. Hearing stuff, she sat in that bed, was talking to people that's dead, telling me that my son walked by the door and left with some people, he was in his room sleeping. She did believe she got raped, and I still was 50-50 on that because... She's mental, but hey, she didn't happen. So I didn't say it was 100%, but I didn't say I didn't believe her either. But there was never no evidence, no nobody, nothing. My medicine had nothing to do with any of this. It had to do with the fact that he always runs away and hangs up on me. He can never just have a conversation with me. It's always got to be something stupid, childish, putting his fingers in his ears, blah, blah, blah on me, like not listening. I don't know what to do. 
It's okay, Chris. The police know exactly what to do. They will now start to gather evidence to be able to press charges against Tamara. For now, she definitely has domestic violence and resisting arrest. Chris will now show the police a video how his wife tried to break down the door with a hammer. There is also a recording of a phone call with the police where Tamara can be heard rampaging through the house. So I'm seeing damage and chips on this door. Is that old or is that new? Ah, uh, this is from previous right here. This all right here is from the day. Uh, the door not being the, broke off. Like marks and stuff. Yeah, that's the day. That, probably from that rubber hammer there. I would say. Okay. Uh, so she had the hammer there? This one here, so she's trying to hit the door with this. That hammer. I don't know if you guys see anything else. We're going to need to photograph all the measures you took to, to bar the door. Um, And I feel like I had a stroke. I swear to God, I've been talking weird. Like my voice is all weird. I think I had a stroke. And what really sucks is he didn't even have the common courtesy to open the door and see if I was even okay. Probably because she had a huge hammer in her hands, but I don't want to jump to conclusions. I'm gonna ruin your and when you fall asleep anytime, I'm gonna come to the house and kill you. So if she's manic. I believe that possibly is a possibility because people that are manic are just not there. They're not themselves. What started today? Same thing. She thinks about this girl. Her name was Marcia. 20 years ago, we had a thing with her. I like a throuple thing, like three people. Okay, that ended anyway. You know, but, I mean, she's dead now. This girl's dead. So that ended way long time ago. Uh, so that's about five, 15 years ago it ended. The person I've dedicated my whole entire life to and stayed faithful for and have done everything and been there for him and forgave him for cheating on me. I feel like I've been taken advantage of and I feel like I'm in the wrong again. He makes me look like I'm crazy. So I thought after you know, so many times we're talking about it, everything's going to end, it's not ending. So it's either the medication, it's not right, or she's really messed up in her head and I don't know it. So I don't know what to do. That's the kind of respect I get for being dedicated to somebody and never doing anything wrong. Behind my back for 12 years for him to get caught doing it, multiple times he got caught. And then his friend told me, well, he's cheating on you. And I'm, well, again, he's cheating on me again. It never stopped is what he said to me. It never stopped for 16 years. He continued to hurt me. And so I was in there for about an hour before I even called you guys, or maybe even longer, just trying to let her wind down. But there was no winding down. She, mm -hmm. But the thing is, I love her. She's my wife. 20 years. I just want her better. But I don't know how to go about it. The officers found out everything they needed, and Chris's story matches the evidence. They will now take his wife to the police station for a detailed interrogation. Oh yeah, that safe we showed a little while ago, that's where Chris stored his weapons and hid the key, so Tamara couldn't get her hands on the weapons during one of her jealous episodes. Now, I'm pissed. I, I understand. Why? Right. Just listen they to me. They broke in my house. Okay. And then tackled me to the ground like some kind of goddamn criminal because he says that I'm crazy, like I'm some kind okay, of listen. criminal or crazy just person, listen. I just like listen that 300 me. pound okay. mother just, was in danger from I'm, Like I was crazy, so, like I don't deserve this. I look like a goddamn fool in here over a man again. This is The reason you're here is because he made a fly for domestic violence by threats. And I didn't okay. even do anything wrong. He was on the phone with dispatch on 911. I didn't threaten him though. He wouldn't open the door or leave or even give me a comment. Like there's nothing. It's like he don't. I don't know. How do you do something to somebody and justify not even giving that person an explanation, not answering that person, just completely ignoring that person? Have a conversation with me. You don't have to act like a little kid and put your fingers in your ears. You don't have to threaten me with the police. You don't have to threaten to leave me like you have some kind of power over me. I wasn't always the nicest to him, but to try and justify your actions by telling me that you cheated on me because I was mean to you. You were heard on 911 threatening bodily harm to him, yes. No. That's what was They must not us. have heard what the 
I said that. My, I was screaming, and I was going crazy because I felt like I was having a stroke at the mm -hmm. time. And for some reason, my like voice kept acting really weird, and I really did think I had a stroke. And I wanted him to come and actually check on me. No, Chris did not come to check on Tamara, but she did end up facing charges for domestic violence, aggravated menacing, and resisting arrest. Austin, they're trying to separate us again. Austin, everybody, don't leave anybody in here alone with your stuff. I'm trying to protect both I of our stuff. You won't do Austin, they're no. trying to separate okay. us. Let me, Let me take the sister. Okay. Let me take the sister. Come right here. They're trying to separate us. Look, you right. do not separate us right. from this. Do me a favor. Step downstairs for me. Okay. I'll come back down here and talk to you here in a minute. Austin. Austin, you're protecting Austin, come me. Here. Austin. Austin, Austin, don't shut the door. Austin, Austin, come here. Austin, come here. Austin, come here. Austin, Austin. All right, so Stop listen. Now. They're separating now. Austin, yeah. Austin, yeah. Austin, 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 please, Austin. Austin. You want her in the house with you. Austin, not separate us, Austin. Or do you want them to stay? We were going to you want her to leave? Austin, your family didn't even want you to spend Thanksgiving this year. Austin, me and you were going to spend Thanksgiving together. Stop talking. Stop talking. Stop talking. Hey, listen, listen. Stop talking for five minutes and let me talk to him. You got me. You Listen. Can see him. Stop. Can you talk to us together? No. 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 Why I'm can't talking we be to together? Austin. Because this is in Austin. Austin. Exactly. Look, we can never be together. Why? Just wait. I am talking right. to him. Austin, I'm not trying to mean? take. I'm not trying I to take don't know him what's away. Going on either. But you just wait. Stop. This is your place. You tell me what you want. Austin. And that's what's gonna happen. You just don't know what you want. So. All you guys care about this property is not safe. Hey, listen. I'm gonna tell you one more time. Okay. Austin, I need you to calm here. down. Please Austin, calm down. All I care about is your property, not your safety. Think about it. That's all everybody's asking for is your okay, property. First last name then. Austin, please first come back to me. Right. Don't go. Let's get downstairs and talk. Don't separate us. What on earth is going on here? This is Austin, and he is the victim of his extremely possessive girlfriend. She moved in with him and refuses to leave and turned off his phone so his family couldn't contact him. So Austin's mother had already called the police before to do a welfare check. That evening, Austin's sister went to check on him because he again wasn't answering his phone, and she called the police because his toxic girlfriend had taken his phone and laptop so Austin couldn't communicate with his family in any way. Austin, Settle down. They come to me. Why do they want to separate us? They won't even let me out to you. You have to come to me. Look at me. Listen. Don't give it to them, Austin. I'm don't not give them. don't show them where it's at. Listen. Don't Listen. show them yet. Can I come in, Austin? No. no. Austin. Austin, what? don't what? show them. You have to plug my phone in, Austin. Your son, Austin, Austin, don't show them. Shut the don't don't shut the door, Austin. Austin, no. Austin, no. Austin, he's smiling. Let him. Let me in, Austin. Austin. Just calm down, Austin. Austin, Austin, Austin they're Austin. smiling. Let me in. Don't give it to me. No, you guys Tanya. have been hurting me. Put your hands on me. Don't you're going to get me. I'm not trying to. Stop. Austin. Stop. Austin. Get out. Austin, you have to save Stop. me. Austin, don't give Tanya. it to him. What the fuck is going on? Austin. Austin. They just got us separated. They got me on the outside and you on the end. Austin. Hey, listen. There's you. people sleeping. Austin. I'm going to need you Austin. to calm down. What is he doing? He's talking. Austin, they're going to arrest me. Austin. Hey. Stop. Stop. You're not allowed to do this. You have to let us see each other. You're breaking the rules, Austin. They're not letting me in. You are right. Don't shut the door. Listen. Austin. No one's gonna Austin, don't leave me. Austin, don't shut the door. Austin. Hey, stop. No. You just grabbed me, alright? I didn't grab you. you to everybody's down. been hurting me and I don't right. know why. No one's touching Austin, you. Austin, do not show your sister. What the f is going on? What is going on? I want to know what's going on with you. Me too. Go downstairs, smoke a cigarette. I'm not leaving Austin. Off? Right now you are. Why? Because I'm telling you you're going to right now while they're talking. Okay? You're causing more of an issue right now than what needs to be. Austin, okay. you said you believed in me and I believed in you. Don't Austin. Touch me. Austin, you can't do this. You have to. Oh my God. Austin, this cop is trying to make me go downstairs. Austin, only you can make me leave. I love you for you all. What the? Oh. What is going on? I don't know. What's going on? You tell me. Austin, I you have to let me back in, please. I can't tell you what's going on. So let's go Austin, downstairs. They're making me leave, Austin. We're not making yeah. you leave. We're just trying to separate you. Okay, in a minute, please. No, I want you to go downstairs. Let me get my I'm dog ask you and my drink. Time. 
And my lighter. Nah, she won't turn. Austin, come and save me. Austin. Come on. Don't Let's touch go. me, please. Austin, Let's you said out. that he had to make me leave. Austin. I, you're not leaving. I want you to come Austin, downstairs. Austin, if I go downstairs, Austin, they're going to take me. Why? Because. Who are you to okay. this situation? I'm her ex-husband. His mom posted on Facebook that he had been missing for a few hours and that she couldn't get a hold of him. I reached out to his mom and I've been talking on the phone with his mom. His mom's on the phone right here with us. Right. She just wanted me to come over and make sure that nothing happened to her daughter while she came over here to check on him. What's, is she over here? Who's over here? Her daughter is. She's up there. Just, just sit right there for five seconds. I just want, okay. So I can talk to him and you can figure out what's going on. Because you don't know what's going on, obviously, because you're freaking out. So just give me because, a second. Austin, li listen to them. Do you see what they're saying? Right. All right, we're going to bring all your stuff out. Austin. All right. Austin. Hey. Austin. Hey. Just stand back Austin. here. In cases where the issue is primarily civil, like an unwanted person refusing to leave but no immediate danger, police often perform a civil standby. This is where they stay on site to keep the peace, while Austin makes arrangements for his girlfriend to leave or collects her belongings. In case she is a tenant, then they would have to go through the eviction process. Here, the situation is very simple because he literally just has to decide whether he wants her to go or stay. Austin, so my I... jack bag, my jack bag, my red bag. What is Austin. a jack bag? Austin, look at me. Austin, Austin. That's what I was saying. Austin. 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 Okay. Okay. Austin, look. Okay. Austin, he's smiling. Austin, and they're gonna take me away as soon as you put all my stuff out. Only you can say I can stay, Austin. Hey. Can I talk to him? No. Can I, no. You're why not. can't I talk no, to him? You're not. Austin. Because you understand me? You're not. Austin. You are not. You might want to start taking your stuff down the steps. Austin. The best part. Austin, start please talk stuff. to me before you leave. Can I have a hug? Austin, please no. talk to me. No. Austin, stop. That no. is my best friend. Right Austin, now, no. you're throwing the stuff out. Austin, please. Whoop. Austin, whoop. look. He's going whoop, whoop. Austin. Whoop. Why are you smiling? This is not funny. Walk downstairs. Everybody's been separating me from my best friend. Walk downstairs. He's my best friend. You're, you're, you're treading on thin ice. Okay. Stop Austin. touching him. Don't I'm get in his face. Him. You're not getting back in the apartment. He done told you, so quit trying to push past him. Can you unlock your truck, Austin, so you can take me somewhere safe, please? Okay. Right, okay. right, Austin, right. yes. I want you to take me somewhere safe. Yeah. He said it. He said yes. No. He said yes. He said yes. He did not. No, he yes, did not. He did. Right, let's Austin. Austin. Right, let's go. Let's go. Go downstairs. We're going. Come Austin, will you take me somewhere safe? Look at them. Austin, please. Go. Only you can touch me. Will you still take me Stop. somewhere safe? Austin. Go. Austin. I'm not saying nothing. Yeah. Not. Austin. Okay. They don't want you to take me somewhere hey. safe. Stop. Will you still take me somewhere safe? Right. Austin, please. Ow! It's breaking my arm, Austin. Stop. He Put your hand behind your back, please. Why? Put your Austin, hand. look what they're doing. Huh? Austin. Huh? Austin. What is going on? Get tell, in the car. Tell shit. me what's going on. Get in the car. I will. What was? Do it right Austin! now. Austin. Austin. Protect me. Austin. You really got to hobble. Oh, no. Stop. Just Austin. stop. I'm You're going to jail for disorderly conduct. Jail for what? Disorderly conduct. What? Austin. In the back seat. Let me pee first. Please let me pee. Can I pull my pants out and pee right here? Why are you guys doing here. this? Here. Why? Are you guys doing this? That's not on. Um, what is going on? Nope. Austin! After this love drama, Austin's girlfriend was charged with disorderly conduct and resisting arrest. What happened? I didn't want to have sex with her. Where'd she go? Inside. She's inside. Scratched you? Scratched me, bit me, hit me in my f***ing face. Where does it hurt? Arms, legs? Everywhere. She does, she does this all the time. Who is she to you? She's my ex-girlfriend now. Ex-girlfriend. Has this ever happened before? Yeah, I just barely got a case dismissed for this. Same thing? She was beating on you? Yeah. Oh, I, don't know. I think it would change. What's her name? Aurora Fernandez. Sheriff's office. Okay, so this just happened when you called us? No, it's been, been, I've been trying to calm her down. She started drinking right away. Okay. What'd she do first? Did she scratch you first? Did she bite you? What happened? Yeah, was, well, she, first it starts off by throwing at me. And then, then she rushes me, tries and tackles me. Because I was just laying on the bed, just trying to stay calm, you know? And then that's when she comes out of nowhere and just jumps on me. 
and she's scratching me on my arms. Uh, dispatch mentioned something about a rock. Did she threaten you with a rock? Yeah, she, she tried to break the window with a rock and then she got one of my weights, probably about 30 pounds, and finally bashed the window in. You were in the driver's seat and she threw it through the window? Yeah. Is it still in here? Jesus, man. Uh, she broke his guitar. They were fighting. He wouldn't have sex with her because she's on a period. He said no. So she started rushing him, scratched him, scratched his back, bit his leg, um, and then grabbed his phone, took it away from him while he was calling 911. Hey, just come out here and talk to us. Before we meet Aurora, let's first summarize what happened that night. After her boyfriend refused sex because of her period, she bit him, scratched him, broke his guitar, threw a stone at him, broke his car window with a weight, and took his phone when he decided to call for help. The boyfriend claims that she is often aggressive and that he regularly suffers her violence. During the fight, Aurora got a bruise under her eye and now she will use that as an excuse to shift all the blame onto her boyfriend. According to her, she is the victim and he is the one harassing her. All right, just sit right here. We have Ian Messer, we're gonna, they're gonna come check out your hand. What happened to your hand? I don't know, he fucking hurt me. He fucking punched me in the eye. So what happened to your hand? He fucking hit me, I was trying to defend myself. He fucking punched me in the eye. Is your hand and your eye the only place you're injured? I don't know. Did you lose consciousness when he punched you? I don't know. Just have a seat. I need something to drink. Alright, I'll get you something to drink. Have a seat. It's right there. <laughs> this isn't even my phone. That's his phone. I don't know where he threw my phone. Your phone's over. Your phone's right here. <laughs> Let me see. Can we get that phone? No, it's mine. I you just said his, for it. That's his phone. No, I paid just for it. Just give it to him. No, I paid for it. I'm not giving him a phone that I paid for. But you just told me it's his phone. He was using it while he was with me. He, if he's not going to be with me, he don't need it. I still am paying on that phone. Okay, but that's your phone though, right? Correct? This one? Right. Why do you have his phone then? Because I pay for everything here. I pay for everything here. He's not even a man to be even paying for here. How did all this start, Aurora? Ask him. He told me, I want to get your side done. Well, then go with it. Your demeanor changed really, really quick after yeah, getting that cool. water. I'm trying to help everybody out and figure out what's going on, Jeez. okay? Because apparently this is not new to both of you. No, it isn't. Right? But he's the one that keeps on coming back. I don't f***ing go to him. He f***ing comes here. Well, why do you let him back? Because I think he's going to change and he does it. Then he turns into even worse. And look what he does to me. Everything he f***ing does to me. He tries to play the an innocent one here and he's not he came out here i was sitting here okay and i was drinking and he got pissed off and he started talking to me and then started hitting me what did he get pissed off about because i was drinking nothing else there's no other reason besides the drinking do you want to have did he want to have intercourse tonight with you have you been drinking no she wanted to have sex i didn't want to have sex because she said she was on a period she just started calling me saying that I'm just some I'm worthless and she could get it anywhere else and blah blah blah. I need you to step out of the... I'm not door. stepping outside. Listen to me. Hold on. I'm not stepping outside. Listen to me. We are most likely getting a search warrant for the residence. You go right ahead. Okay, so I need you to get out. I'm not going to get out. Not until you okay. have a warrant out for my arrest or whatever the fuck you need. But I am not leaving my premises right here. Okay. Aurora. I'm not leaving it. Aurora, you need to listen to me. If you do not leave, what you are doing is you're obstructing me. I don't give a shit. The investigation. I don't give a shit. And I that don't is the give way that shit. you should be put in jail. I don't I, give I a told shit. you two minutes ago, it's in your best interest to cooperate with us. We're just in an investigation stage, okay? If you pull me out of here, I will get a fucking lawyer okay. and fucking sue your guys' ass. Let's go ahead and, and I'll get my parents over here. I, I want you to know right now, we are giving you optimal opportunity. I don't give a shit what you're trying comply. to do. Let me get As, my parent over here. Aren't you an adult? For they can witness. Mom! Yeah. Mom. Yeah. Can you come into the trailer, please? Come to the RV. I don't want these motherfuckers to arrest me. How did, how did the van have a breaking, broken window now? Because I was sitting in the van, and he went over there and tried to get me out. You're and saying. I ended up going out the passenger seat when he, I heard the, like, crack.
crashing sound of the window. Aurora claims that her boyfriend did literally everything he accuses her of, but her story isn't consistent and doesn't match the evidence and facts. Unlike her boyfriend's story, she's also uncooperative with the police and has sudden mood swings. It all seems as if she's simply frustrated because the police are suspicious of her lies. The police need to look for more evidence, but Aurora is obstructing them because she doesn't want to leave the area, so they will now arrest her. Try to guess whether the arrest will go smoothly or not. Well, Aurora, I'm telling you right now, you're, you're going to be under arrest. No, so he's the one that hit me. Mm, he did hit you. You're, you're right. He did hit you. But I, I need you to get up because you're going to be under arrest. I'm not going to get up. Okay. loosened my teeth and made me a black eye and you're gonna arrest me you know i i would believe that but the thing is ah you're, is you're, me. you're hurting me you are hurting me no Aurora. i'm not you're hurting me can you move your feet do you not see up? my f***ing, my finger is bruised from where he hit me last time Aurora, okay come on Aurora. i'm not getting up mom mom Mom! Come on. Mom! Come on. Look at it! She Look at that! She had to take her son to court this morning. You need to loosen this and and uh, uh, handcuff. Oh, she get up. Okay. Le and loosen the wait, handcuff. It's hurting me. Wait a minute. She hasn't been listening to us. She's been like this the entire time. As you can see, there's a lot of space in the handcuffs. She's just turning her wrist. No, I'm not. Well, they came over here because you were in trouble. No. Well, no, because that. She called the that's bathroom. Why. I need well, a pee. Well, Let me go to the bathroom. Aurora, are you Aurora. Gonna, hey, calm down. Aurora, are you going to let me down. piss on myself? We're, We're going to let you go pee if you would calm myself? down. Aurora, just calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I need to go to the bathroom. Uh, okay. I need to go to the bathroom. Okay, let me go to the bathroom. I'm on my f***ing period, you stupid Hey, oh. shh. shh. Callate la boca. Let me go to the bathroom. Wait. Let me go to the bathroom at least. And you have any myself. And it's gonna be all bloody. That's f***ing disgusting. Are you kidding me? Stand up. Just drag her. Are you gonna sit up so we can put you in a car like an adult? You. All right, roll on your side. You. On your side. Yeah. Back up. Oh. Back up, I got it. Oh. Basically what happened, she's upset about the sexual relationship that they are having, or not having. She's on her period, just how she said. She started attacking him, started biting him. When I talked to her, her story doesn't match up. His story matches up to everything that we've seen inside here. And that's the reason why she's going to jail is because she's the aggressor. Where's your wife at? Last I saw, she was in the middle of the Well, he's bleeding. She's not. Anybody else in the house? No. Just even what? She was very upset at me. Do you mind if I take your knife until we're done? Yeah, go ahead. 232, copy. So what happened? She was very unhappy with me. She what? She was very unhappy unhappy with me when I... Do you want to lean in on my car? I'm going to have the fire department check you out anyway. I'm sitting on the couch and she's screaming at me. And I was trying to not escalate because she has a very bad temper. And then she's she started cold hitting cold. me and I just, just started defending myself. And she was hitting you with her hands? Yeah, hard. I don't know if you can see my face. I don't know if it's worse or not. I have no idea. Um, she must have hit me a hundred times. What were you guys arguing about? She wanted me to come home. She called me. She was upset we were having carpet installed today. And she was upset that I wasn't here. So you got home from work? I got home from work, and apparently she texted me not to come home. And I didn't see that until I was already home. She was really pissed. So she's mad at you because you weren't here for the carpet installed? Yeah, and then she was mad that I showed up. Okay. And, then, and she started hitting you with her fists? Or like Fist, open, open hands, hands and she boxed my ears a bunch of times. Okay. And then she picked up the beer that I had just started. I poured it into a glass and she smashed the beer and landed here somewhere and shattered everywhere. So I did end up striking her arms. 
to get her off me because she's grabbing my this and she's just beating the out of me. I went in the closet to get real shoes on. And then, unbeknownst to me, there was a piece of glass that was attached to my foot, so it was in my shoe, so it won't quite. And it took five minutes, it took me to get out of the closet because she's trying to trap me in there. Who's the next unit? You got any weapons on you or anything like that I should know about? Alright, let's go ahead and step on down. Let's get off the car. I just don't feel like it right now. I'm sorry. I'm so tired. I'm so... Either you get off the car or I'm going to make you get off the car. What do you want to do? I'll get off the car. I'm sorry it bothered you. I'm so sorry. Hit 10 4. I'm Just sorry. lean against the car. Okay. Yeah, yeah. She's being cooperative right now. What's your first name, ma'am? I'm Nicole. My daughter's on the way. What's your last name, Nicole? Well, she's going to come talk for me. Thank you. What's your date of birth, Nicole? She's going to come over. And say What's your date of birth? I don't care if your daughter's coming. Your daughter doesn't answer for you. She's You're a grown woman. No, no, no. She's going to tell you. She's going to come over. Nicole, what's your date of birth? I just told you my daughter's coming over right now. She's an attorney. What's going on? You can at least look at me. Just have a conversation with me. So she's not talking to me right now. Nicole is the wife of a well-known NFL team owner, and, as he himself said, she has a volatile temper. That day, after a minor argument, she smashed a glass on his head, beat him, and trapped him in a closet. And before the police arrived, she admitted to having taken several tranquilizers, hence the bizarre behavior. Her daughter is an attorney and will now take a leading role. She will silence her mother to prevent her from revealing too much information that could lead to a conviction. And this is how it looked. Where are you going? Hey, excuse me. Fire needs to check her out. You guys can step aside and she'll talk to you. Do you want to be checked okay. out now or not? Yes. The officers will take her too. Yeah, I already this. told you. I already told you. She's going to get checked out by fire first and then you guys can have your conversation. And at this point, we're investigating the crime, so she is being there detained. There is no crime. I took We're investigating the crime, so we have reasonable right, suspicion. I'm a defense belief. attorney. I'm her representative. I understand I'm that. representing her. You I understand, understand that, but we got to investigate what happened. But she can be detained if there's no, reasonable suspicion. No, you don't, Mom. Suspicion. You want to talk to us? No, no, she wants to talk to me first. That's her right. Okay, well then let her get checked out by fire first. I she agree. has blood on her. I 100. percent Yeah, I think she okay, should. Okay, and then she told me she took some so I, I wanted to get Mom, it checked stop out. Talking. I take. That's talk, it. Stop talking. Okay. I'm sorry. You want right, to so sit? let her get her checked you out first, check out. and then no. have what, right, whatever conversation no. you want to have. Thank you, though. No. Just please yeah. let us do that, and that's it. No, that's all I'm asking. No, she doesn't. Well, you don't want. No, I do not want. Okay, I agree with that decision. Our main priority is we want to make sure everybody's okay. Oh, I understand. I'm I a understand. daughter. I understand. Yeah. I understand. I'm not a concern, but I am. I am an attorney. Our sorry. main concern, which is fine. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I'm just, That's great. <laughs> I'm very, very sick no, it's really today. Not. It sucks. Well, I'm very yeah. tired and tonight. Okay. Stop talking. But obviously, so you have to look at it from our standpoint and then legally and everything I, what else. Was on, but yes, what so. was on dispatch? What, what did dispatch say? That there was a TV call? Like, yes. All right. Yes. I understand physical. that you have to. Yes. And then obviously we get here. Your defense attorney. We see blood on someone. He's oh waiting. no no no! You don't go there. That is a very easy assumption to make, She's and I see people make it all turning. No, I'm the sorry. neighbor says. No, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just saying that you're an attorney, so I'm just talking about evidence. Okay. So we can detain her for a reasonable time to conduct an investigation. All right, not without reasonable suspicion. I just stated that we have reasonable suspicion. For a fact that, that, that she is We have to. Crime? We have to determine. What? What crime? Possible assault, DV assault. Right, just, yeah. um, okay. I'm told the neighbors are going to go ahead and So we investigate, on. and then if we find out that there's not probable cause, then no one's arrested. I if told the neighbors, yes, she cause, doesn't have to let you investigate if you don't have probable cause. I mean... She can't be detained, legally. On reasonable suspicion, yes, to believe absolutely. that there was a crime to and she call, committed it? The call comes out as a call. DV physical. You guys are, I mean, you okay. know in court this does not fly. You absolutely know it. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs>
It seems the attorney is a bit lost. The visible bloody injuries on the victim's head, his shaken state, and the blood on the attacker's clothing are sufficient for both reasonable suspicion and probable cause. Hence, Nicole will now be arrested. However, like the previous investigation, Nicole will complicate the arrest as well. This is the last time I'm going to ask you. I just need her to say it's okay. You're talking and not listening. This is the last time that I'm going to ask you, and then we are going to carry you. If you don't want your neighbors and everyone else to see these two, us two officers carry you to the police. Everyone can car. see right now. But it's you're going to okay. you're going to lose some dignity with that, and I'd like you to keep as much dignity as possible right now. I don't want to do that. I'm not I do worried not want about to do that. my dignity. Okay, so are we going to have to carry you? You are going to go to the police cars, either by walking or us carrying you. I suggest you walk. Thank you. Yeah. Stand up. I just gotta. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Good. I do. 